Good morning and welcome to Atherton On Air Virtual Edition. I'm Addie Shaney. NTI Week 2 is coming to a close and even though we're all stuck in our homes, the Atherton On Air staff is working hard to keep you in the know. Today we have stories from Atherton On Air correspondents Jenna Smith, Hannah Harper, and Rhiannon Johnston. But first, the Fraser Museum is creating a coronavirus time capsule that features a few Atherton students. This unique hands-on project will let future generations know what we have now realized as our new normal. Let's check it out. The first Atherton student featured in the coronavirus capsule is senior Ella Hall. She's quoted as saying, The good thing to come from this virus is I have more time to focus on my other hobbies such as singing, playing guitar, and art. I've also enjoyed nature walks and seeing my neighborhood more active. Brennan Johnson was also featured. She's a senior and she created this collage about things that are making her happy right now. The latest Atherton student to be featured is senior Adam Scarborough. He drew this swampy marsh from a picture he took months ago, his way of connecting to the outdoors when we are spending so much time indoors. Due to the pandemic, Atherton students have had to resort to new methods to see friends and families. But what if it's somebody's birthday? You can't just ignore that. Brandon Johnson has a story on the new ways teens are using technology and cars to drive up their friends' spirits. Thanks, Addie. For many students, the spring season is usually a time for birthday celebrations. However, social distancing has robbed many of their special day. No parties and no friends. Although many will miss out on these birthday traditions, this has not stopped some from thinking up creative ways to say happy birthday to their friends and family. One lady was still able to celebrate her 93rd birthday with her family during quarantine through the windows of her nursing home. Another boy received a special surprise the morning of his birthday as a huge line of cars drove down the street, honking and holding signs wishing him a happy birthday. Others have turned to virtual parties on platforms such as Zoom, where they're able to connect with all their friends on their special day. So don't fret if your birthday is coming up. Little do you know there might be a special parade just for you outside your door. Thanks, Rhiannon. Do you have any younger brothers or sisters? They can certainly be annoying at times, but considering the new way we're learning, they may need our help with some of their NTI work. Here's Jenna Smith with a story about older siblings helping out their younger brother or sister with their NTI work. Thanks, Addie. Although we may not be in the classroom, there are still many ways students can collaborate. With the start of NTI coming in full force, many students are still having trouble. After turning to our teachers, students have been seeking help from older siblings and parents. I've been needing help with my Spanish homework, so my sister, who has already done it for two years, has been helping me. My dad has also been helping me with my algebra homework. Thank you to all the siblings and parents for the additional help to your students' learning. Thanks, Jenna. That's really sweet and a great way to score some extra points with your parents. Atherton On Air isn't the only show that's had to resort to broadcasting from home. National Network television shows such as The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and Saturday Night Live have had to do the same thing. Even the latest installment of Tiger King was screen recorded from host Joel McHale's living room. Here's Hannah Harper on how big budget broadcasts have had to take the homemade route. Thanks, Addie. While in quarantine, many of us are turning towards streaming platforms to keep us entertained, and one series on Netflix is certainly doing that. Tiger King is currently the number one show on Netflix throughout the world. The show revolves around a crazy, lovable man named Joe Exotic and the zoo he runs in Winwood, Oklahoma. The show has become so popular because of the outrageousness and bewildering things that take place. Many words have been used to describe the show, but boring is certainly not one of them. There is also a lot of controversy surrounding the show on matters such as if Joe Exotic deserved to go to jail or whether or not Carol Baskin killed her husband. If you have not seen the show, there is no doubt that you've seen the memes on Twitter, parodies on TikTok, or at least heard of Joe Exotic. Thanks, Hannah. It's so strange to see TV like that, but hey, it seems to be working. Before we leave today, here's some helpful hints on how to get you through these crazy times. Be sure to establish a routine. Go to bed and get up at the same time every morning. Studies show this can help with your health and productivity. Getting enough sleep is important. Also, try to use the same workspace for your school time every day. Make sure you have that separation between your time and school time. And finally, be sure to take care of yourself. Keep in contact with friends. Remember, social distancing is not social isolation. Keep those communication lines open. Getting some exercise is always a good idea. This can help with your stress and general well-being. As always, if you have any ideas for Atherton on Air, feel free to email them to Mr. Boros or Ms. MacArthur. For Hannah Harper, Jenna Smith, and Rhiannon Johnston, I'm Addie Shaney. 
Until next time, stay safe, Rebels, and remember what you do makes a difference.